All right, let's get right into the recap. So today's a pretty ugly day for me. And, you know, despite that, I, I do enjoy going over the red day recaps uh, a lot more. And I think they're more helpful for you guys. Um, just to show, you know, like even experienced traders like myself, I, I consider myself pretty experienced, uh, pretty good trader. Uh, you know, even even experienced traders go through uh, pretty decent red days, you know, they'll they'll happen occasionally. So and it's usually um, the case is usually because you're breaking your rules or something like that. It's you know, I, I typically I rarely have red days if I'm following my rules and my system and my strategy. Uh, but today was one of those days where I just I broke my rules, you know, I broke several of my rules and it cost me. So uh, let's let's go right into the recap. And we were trading LGVN today. So as you can tell by the chart, I mean, tons of shorts probably got squeezed pretty hard today. And, you know, I would not be surprised if, you know, several shorts blew up today. Uh, this one was a very tricky ticker. I mean, it was very strong, um, you know, held trend. And, you know, I guess we can start off with that. You know, the first things first is, you know, my rule is don't fight the trend and of course, I fought the trend today. So, you know, sometimes when you just get emotional and you just kind of lose your, you know, you lose your grip on your uh, discipline, it can happen, right? It can happen to even the most disciplined traders sometimes. So, uh, so let's start off with the first trade I took. Um, what started all? What started it all? I would say, um, uh, kind of got me into that. Uh, kind of got me into that emotional state of kind of wanting the revenge trade. And that was this trade. So I was scaling into this trade here uh, for a short. Uh, it, it was looking pretty weak to me. I was thinking, you know what? They might snap this uh, $9 support and I might get a really nice flush to cover into. So I scaled into that trade. And initially I was kind of risking this, um, let's see, zoom in here. I was kind of risking this 950 area uh, because that was kind of struggling. They were showing there was some supply there. So that was my plan initially. Uh, so when I saw it start to hold here, I was kind of, you know, thinking, okay, they're probably going to stop me out, but something changed in my, in my mindset here. Something told me, you know what, I'm going to give this a little bit more room if it breaks over 950. And that's where the trouble starts, right? It's always when you say, okay, I'll give it a little bit more room when you're talking about your stop loss, you know, you don't want to give it a little bit of room because that always almost always leads to a bigger loss right and that's exactly what happened here so this was my uh, single biggest loss on this ticker today it was this trade right here this uh, short and I lost about double what I was wanting to risk so and that's all because I said I'll give it a little bit more room well a little bit turns into a lot so you know after that I was kind of I was a little upset you know with myself and you know, because I'm typically, if you guys have watched my recaps, you know that I'm really good at managing risk, um, you know, 99% of the time. But all it takes is that one day where you say, you know what, I'll just give it a little bit more room. And then this is what happens. So, uh, and, and this is exactly why this is a great example of why I have such tight risk management. You know, I don't like to use wide stops because where do you, where do you draw the line, right? Where do you stop out? If you're saying, oh, I'm going to give it a bit of room. Well, how much is a bit of room? You really don't have a predefined risk when you're you're kind of trading like that, and and that's why I really don't like trading this way. So, um, you know, it's it's really good to go over this recap and and discuss that uh, the the errors I I did. So, so after that, you know, of course I'm pro I'm triggered. I'm a little bit emotional, and I'm saying, you know what, that was really not at the stock, it, mostly at myself. You know, I'm pretty upset with myself, and I say, you know what, I'm gonna try to make some of that back. Right, that. Kind of that revenge mentality and you're not at that point you're not trading you know you're you're kind of gambling uh you're just you're just in a state of wanting to make your money back and that trust me that never ends well you know every time i trade like that i, I always end up with a red day so so you know i fought it kind of just tried to get some uh you know i shorted it again here after, right after stopping out and then I stopped out again shorted again as you can see, stopped out again, kind of just fighting the trend, shorted again here. And this was my second biggest loss of the day. These two trades right here. So this first trade, this first loss right here, and then this one right here, uh, stopping out over here. Those were my two single biggest losses of the day. And they 
basically accounted for 80% of my, my losses today. Uh, so the rest were all kind of tiny, uh, just kind of scalps and tiny losers. But um, so yeah, this trade uh, stopped out, you know, again, I, I knew I was fighting it. So I said, you know what, I'm, I'm flipping long and I flipped long and got a decent little scalp there. I flipped long, decent scalp. It kept ripping, so I uh, got short again here, um, kind of just sizing in and sizing, or sizing up and sizing down, kind of just managing my risk here. Uh, but that's, I was still short over here. And then I got a nice little cover here on the support. And I was really hoping this thing would break down. I was looking for that big trade to make back, you know, uh, all the chunk of losses that I had here. And, you know, so I was holding, holding for that big winner. Even though I recognized, you know, the trend was holding and the support was holding, I still wanted that bigger winner. So of course I still held on. And then I ended up stopping out of that trade over here. And I actually ended up flipping long again. So just, just kind of a momentum trade, just reading the tape, you know, recognizing shorts were getting squeezed and not because I was one of them, you know, so it's pretty easy to, to tell who's in pain. Uh, so I flipped long and pretty nice scalp there, uh, scalped it out over here, over here. And then I kind of flipped uh, in this candle right here. I flipped short again just for a quick scalp, scalped it out. Um, then I flipped again long over here over the high of the day break, just riding that momentum, just a quick scalp again and then uh, short again. So kind of just constantly flipping back and forth. And, and this is where I made back a nice chunk of change of my loss. So, you know, that was nice. but. Um, so I was short again here, covered here, stopped out here again, and then flipped, flipped long for one last trade. And that's where I, that's where I decided to end the day. So still ending the day very, uh, decently red. I mean, um, nothing crazy, but probably gave back this week's profit. I'd say, um, at least two to three days worth of my, of profits for me. Uh, so that's pretty, that's a pretty big red day for me, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like just just to put things in perspective, you know, I know a lot of other traders probably had a pretty much rougher day than me, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of just, just thankful. I was, uh, was able to stay composed and, you know, manage my, manage my emotions for the most part. You know, I was able to, you know, get in some good trades towards this, uh, this area. So that big, you know, I was looking for that big short here and I recognize, you know, this thing's definitely not wanting to break down, they're supporting it. So I stopped out and flipped long and you know, I didn't fight it. I just said, you know what, this is clearly not a short. I'm going to just ride it long, just scalp it long. That's what I know. That's what I do best. So, so I did that and, uh, you know, recovered a decent chunk of change. So uh, out of my losses. So, uh, so yeah, still, still a decent red day. Um, but some key takeaways I wanted to, uh, discuss today is, uh, you know, the the main rule I broke today was, uh, I guess it was fighting the trend, but also risk management. You know, that's I. If you guys know, you know I. You know I was always preach uh, risk management, and that's pretty much like all you have in your trading, right? If you don't have risk management, you don't have anything. So today was just the, one of those days where I let my risk management slip. You know, even though it wasn't crazy, you know I didn't like add to a loser or whatever. I just you know, I just don't like uh, disrespecting my stops. I, I really like to stick to tight stops, you know, that stops that make sense. And, you know, when I break those rules, I, um, I get really upset with myself, you know, because that's not the type of trader I am. So, uh, but it happens, you know, it happens to the best of us, right? And that's why I want to share. And I love to share these uh, red day recaps because this shows the reality of trading. Um, you know, you might see guys out there always putting up big numbers and having huge wins all the time. And, you know, I guarantee you they're hiding their losers, right? It's just not the reality. Um, it's, it sets a false, uh, expectation for, especially for newer traders, just getting into the game. Uh, but you have to realize, you know, even the professionals, even the experienced guys take losses, right? So, and you know, these are outlier days, you know, they don't happen too often, but they do happen. So you gotta be, you gotta be prepared for them. Uh, so yeah, the main takeaways are definitely the risk management was number one, fighting the trend and also just, you know, over, over trading, you know, just trying to 
make back the losses. I mean, that that's the worst mentality you can have in trading. And, you know, that's always kind of been my biggest struggle. I think that's my, uh, if you can call it your kryptonite, you know, uh, that's my kryptonite, you know. So with risk management, I'm usually pretty good um, for the most part. And then, you know, it's that over trading that usually gets me. So days like today. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys took something away from this. Um, again, you know, it's not, not fun to have these red days, but I do like to share them because they can provide a lot of value and uh, education to, uh, to anyone out there who's, who's maybe struggling with their trading or, you know, they have a misinterpretation of what trading is. You know, this is, this is the reality. You know, some days you're going to be, they're going to be great. Other days you're going to have pretty, pretty rough days. So. Uh, today was just one of those days for me. So, uh, so yeah, that's it. That's about it for the day. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the recap. Uh, got any questions, of course, pop them down below as usual, and I'll be glad to answer them. All right, guys. Cheers.